for med school online for freshies and ano the Hello everyone, welcome to my vlog. Sa mga hindi pa nakaalam, I am a medical intern in St. Luke's Medical Center College of Medicine, William H. Quash Memorial. And because everything is online dahil lockdown pa rin ang Pilipinas, the ways that we can help are very limited. Kaya ngayon, I will be giving 10 tips for freshies in medical school. Number 10 is to make the best out of technology. Maraming apps dyan like 3D Anatomy, Nii, Walamest. Maraming pang mga free na pwedeng i-download. You can also make use of YouTube. Pwede mong i-search ang Osmosis Can Academy and yung topic na kailangan nyo aralin to supplement your lessons. Download nyo na rin ang Zoom and Google Meet sa inyong mga phones or tablets or laptops. And aralin nyo na rin kung paano gamitin yun. Tip number 9, huwag kayong mahihiyang magtanong I swear, the doctors want you to learn. So if hindi mo alam, okay lang na magtanong. Actually, the past months, kahit na bakasyon, they are still meeting online to fix a module just for you. So this online setup is not your fault. It's not the doctor's fault. So kanino kaya? Char. Tip number eight, message the upper years for any questions like kami or yung year before kayo, so yung mga second years na yun, just say I, state your name, chart. And also make use of the house system. I think na introduced na yun during your freshman orientation program. Shout out nga pala sa student council officers and sa lahat ng organizations and students na naging involved during the FOP. Yay! If not sa house system, mga ate or kuya nyo sa orgs, pwede nyo rin tanungin. Which brings me to my tip number seven. Seven. Tip number seven is to join organizations. Ang alam ko, most organizations waive the membership fee. We are a small community and the process in joining an organization is so much different than in college. Specifically in UP, if taga UP kayo, ibang iba yung org. Dahil dito sa med school, dito sa St. Luke's, nagtutulungan lahat talaga lahat ng estudyante. Ano daw? Nagtutulungan talaga lahat ng estudyante. Tip number six, dahil online na tayo lahat, try to stay active. You can walk, stretch, or stand whenever you can. Kahit yun lang, okay na yun. Kaysa naman nakaupo lang tayo the whole day. Or you can also participate in online activities na i-hold ng mga orgs during this time. Abangan yun na lang. Tip number five is to separate a working environment and a sleeping environment. This will help you to get good quality sleep by producing more melatonin in your body. Besides, if mag-aaral ka lang sa bed mo, Pustahan tayo makakatulog lang. Tayo. Ikaw. <laughs> Tip number four is to know the weight of each subject. I know for first year, ang pinaka mabigat ay yung biochem. And you should really focus on it. Pero huwag nyo rin papabayaan yung iba. And, ayun, makakatulong talaga yung YouTube videos to understand the concepts. Tip number three, know the high yield books for anatomy, it's netter. Kasi mas maintindihan nyo talaga yung anatomy ng body with pictures. Since wala na nga tayong cadaver. Ginagamit din yung Moore for anatomy, but I don't usually use it. Pero maganda yung mga blue boxes doon. You should check it out also. For physiology, Guyton is mostly used. Pero meron din ibang books like Ganong, Vernon Levy. Pero Guyton talaga usually ginagamit unless the doctor states otherwise. For histology, meron tayong Junkera. For biochem naman, meron tayong Harpers. Pero to be honest, nahihirapan na kong basahin yun. So, transes is the way to go. <laughs> Ayun, develop a trans system in your batch. Paano kaya yun, no? Online kayo? I think kaya naman, transes pa rin. Tsaka record naman na yung mga Zoom meetings ngayon and yung Google Meets. So, try to get an access of those. Uh, videos. Tip number two, tandaan nyo to, matatalino lahat na nasa med school. So, don't ever doubt yourself if, for example, nakakasagot siya during the discussion at ikaw hindi, it's okay, it's perfectly okay. Tandaan nyo rin, grades are not everything and studying with understanding is very important kasi dadalhin natin ko sa second year, third year, at ngayon sa fourth year. So, ngayon medyo natisisi ako kasi nagkakram ako. So, huwag niyong gagawin talaga yun. Hindi siya helpful in the long run. Helpful lang siya for one exam, pero in the long run, lugi. Luging lugi. <laughs> so, yun. As much as possible, understand everything that you are studying. If hindi nyo naintindihan, huwag mahihiyang magtanong. Sa classmates mo, sa doctors, sa mga ate or kuya, lahat yan sasagot naman. Ako, sasagot naman ako. As much as I can. As soon as I can, I mean. And tip number one, ito, pinaka-last tip ko. Lagi ko talaga ito sinasabi sa mga org mates ko sa mga lower years. It's always health and then ACADs and then orgs. 
kapag sasali kayo ng orgs. Pero, rinirecommend ko talaga sumali kayo ng orgs. So again, health, then ACADS, then orgs, always. I've learned it the hard way. I know this is not the ideal setup for all of us to learn. May nag-chat. But, but don't let it stop you from learning. I hope that tayong lahat ay maka-adjust sa ganitong setup. Eh, ganun talaga. Wala tayong magagawa ganito sa Pilipinas. So the best way that we can do is to stay informed and take care of our mental health and try to help Walang taong humihirap dahil tumutulong siya. Ayun. I hope this is helpful and I hope you enjoyed my vlog. If you have questions, you can comment down below or message any one of us. And if this video helped you in any way, please like and subscribe if okay lang sa'yo. See you again on my next vlog!